It is a whisper that's not exactly growing into a scream, but it is getting a little louder in some parts of Washington that we may need a second stimulus package. But despite this still slumping economy, Republicans are saying that simply is not the right answer. CBS News correspondent Nancy Cordes is in Washington and has more. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Harry. A stock market slide Tuesday set off a fresh round of worries over the economy with lawmakers split over what to do about it. What'd you get today? Um, gyro sandwich. Excellent. It's been a tough 12 months at the Port of Piraeus restaurant in Washington, D.C. This was the worst year we've ever had in business. For three months, owner Frank Doyle put aside a paycheck and lowered his prices. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. That's helped him stay in business. But around the country, others haven't been so lucky. The unemployment rate has hit 9.5%, the highest in 26 years. And analysts predict it could get even worse, going into the double digits by the end of the year. We're going to have a recovery, but it's going to be later in the year, and it's not going to be terribly strong. That recovery will depend in part on how well President Obama's economic stimulus package does. Experts say it's too early to tell, but that hasn't stopped some economists from suggesting a second stimulus package might be needed. Stocks fell Tuesday after one of the president's own economic advisors said the U.S. should be planning for another stimulus. The response from Republicans? No way. Why in the world there would be any conclusion reached after looking at the results of the first stimulus that the way to deal with that is to pass yet another one is uh, mind-boggling. Democrats counter that it is way too soon to measure the success of the stimulus package because only about 10 percent of the money has actually gone out the door. They acknowledge that pace has to pick up, but many of them, Harry, are not sold on this notion of a second stimulus either. All right. Nancy Cordes in Washington this morning. Thank you so much. Jill Schlesinger is editor-at-large for CBSMoneyWatch.com. There really has been a lot of sort of mid-year sort of analysis, and you, you pick up different papers, and some are bleak, some are less bleak, some are a tiny bit optimistic. Some say there are green shoots. How do you view all of this so I far? I look at this like... The doctor comes in, he says, there's great news. You don't need a heart transplant. However, you do need a quadruple bypass. <laughs> so we are away from the worst case scenario, and mm -hmm. I think that's really important. It was a great thing that we stepped away from that precipice. Right. But that does not mean we're out of the woods. Right. We are still in the midst of a deep and painful recession. We're right in it. Unemployment numbers came out last week. We're still up in the three, four, five hundred. That is, the economy is still hemorrhaging jobs like crazy. Job loss is tapering off, which means that, okay, you didn't lose 700,000 jobs right, like right. in January, but right. you're right. The number last month was terrible. The, the number I really was disappointed in in that report was this other number, which says if you put all the part-time people in mm -hmm. and those who are disgruntled, 16.5% mm -hmm. unemployment rate. Mm -hmm. That is why it's so That's hard to get That's a more real unemployment figure. And it, it really helps people understand why mm -hmm. is it so hard for me to get a job. Although in some of the uh, other areas, you look at some places in the country where the housing prices seem to have bottomed out and there actually is a little bit of an uptick. There are speculators getting back in. There are first-time home buyers. There, there seems to be, it's not exactly traction, but at least something's underfoot. Again, a little bit more stabilization in housing. We need housing to stabilize mm. for this economy to start growing again. It doesn't have to go up. Right. It just has to stop going down. Sure. That hasn't happened just yet. What about things like manufacturing and those really sort of traditional things you look at and say, ah, we're actually heading forward. Okay, manufacturing numbers have actually been better. That's been good. Mm -hmm. The one area that still concerns me is banking. I don't feel mm -hmm. like the worst is over in banking. We have uh, 52 banks have failed this year, mm -hmm. only 25 in all of last year. Jill, as always, thank you so much. Do appreciate it.